Friends, this is a routine on edited FACO. This is a 2.8 millimeter keratome and this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Now 2% SBMC is injected into the anterior chamber and then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and another side port is made on the right side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. Now a 26 gauge bent needle is used to raise a capsular tag and then a uterator forceps is used to hold this tag and at this time the anterior leap of the main wound is lifted up to minimize a grace of visco. CCC is done. This is a fairly round adequate sized rexis about 5 millimeter. Hydrodissection and hydrodelineation done. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle into the anterior chamber. Here it goes. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and this improves visibility. And now the tip of the FECO needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is held firmly and it is chalked. This is direct chalk. And now the small nuclear fragments, free nuclear fragments are emulsified and removed. On heminucleus is managed and this is the other heminucleus. It is chopped into two pieces and they are emulsified and removed. And this is the epinuclear shell. It is mobilized, brought at the center and it is emulsified with very low ultrasonic energy say by 10% ultrasonic energy and it is done, it is removed. Now we can see cortex, cortical lens matter. Visco is injected into the anterior chamber again and now in this case we are using this instrument. This is a coaxial irrigation aspiration and the cortex is coming very nicely by this device. Yes, it is done. And now an intraocular lens is to be implanted. Before that this is hydro polish. Polishing of the posterior capsule with fluid jet. And now this is hydro implantation of a monofocal single piece intraocular lens. The lens is in the capsular bag, nicely centered. Since there is no visco, the surgery is almost over. The side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. In this case, we could have managed by only one side port. But Initially, it was not decided that I will use coaxial. So, 
the side board on the right side was already made. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time see the visco from the back of the cornea comes out. And the surgery is done. Anterior chamber is nicely formed. And the case is concluded. This final lavage is very important to prevent TAS. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.